how to create dynamic drop downs in our flutter flow and what's the reason that we use dynamic drop downs in our application hi i'm gaurav from knowhow academy so as we know flutter flow provides us the ability to create our widgets and in our widgets there is a specific widget known as drop down so in general terms everybody knows what's a drop down in our drop down there are multiple values from which we can select the single value and proceed further now in our flutter flow we have the widget drop down in which we define the options statically but do you know we can get dynamic data from the api and use it in our drop down so the options will be dynamic in our drop down so we can do it by calling our api but not just that we can create another drop down depending on the first one so before moving further let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video in this video we are going to create our dynamic drop downs in which our options will be dynamic we are going to create an api in our zeno to retrieve those values and we are also going to create two drop downs in which the second drop downs options will be dependent on the value selected in the first one so first here in my screen i have created a simple form here and in my form we have two drop downs select country and select state so first of all i will go to my database in zeno and here in my zeno we have a table country in which we have the country name and country code so we have our country table so we need to create an api to get all these countries so first i will go to my api and here i have created a master api group and in my api group i will add an api endpoint i will select custom endpoint i will name it get countries and then i will click on save here after that i will select query all records and here i will select the table country and then i click save after clicking save i will click on publish and i will once test it from here so we have our country's response so this is our country response now i will go to my flutter flow and here i will select add api i will create an api group here and i will name it master api group master api group and here i will select get countries and copy the endpoint url now i will copy this url and i will just cut this one which is our last endpoint and click on add group and here now in my api group i will click add api call i will name it get countries and here in my zeno i just need to copy this name and when i click on paste here after clicking paste i ne just need to test my api call and here is our response now we just want our country name so i will add the json path name and i will name it country name and add call so we have added our country now when i go to my page here i will create a page state which will be country name it will be of type string which will be a list and confirm after that i will click here on the side go to action flow editor and select on page load i will add api call now i will select our master api group and it's selected the get countries api so here i will name it country get country response 
then on the true action i will write update page state and here i will select country name i will select set value and here in my action output i will select get country response json body predefined path and the country name after that i will click on confirm so here we have populated our page state with the api call response in the false action i will write show snack bar something went wrong and it will be error so after that we just need to go to our drop down and here as you can see we have static options here now i will click here and here i will add page state country name and click on confirm after that we will check whether our country drop down is populated or not so i will click on test So here our test session is started and we have our country drop down and when I click on select country here you can see all our country names that were in our API response have been present in our drop down. When I select on India it is has selected India simply. Now same with this one now we want to populate our state according to the country that we have selected in our previous drop down so for that first we need to go to our apis and here i need to create another api to get our states and i will name it get states and save now i will select add action which will be query all records now here i will select our table states and first i will click on save i will run this to test something so as you saw it took a huge amount of time to query our data because the list of state is very huge as it contain around 5000 records now we want our states according to the country that user has selected so for that we need to go to our query all records and here i will need to add an input i will name it country and it is a text input after that i will add our custom query add a condition here and in my db state states dot country name should be equal to the input country and save and publish now to check whether it is filtering or not so i will here write india and click on run so it has returned us the states of india now if I click here and write Russia and click on run so it has returned us Russian states now we have created our API so we will now add it in our API group so now in our API group I will simply click add call I will name it get states and for the endpoint I just need to select this endpoint and copy it here because we have created a common API group. Now I need to add our query parameter and the query parameter will be the same name which is here. So I will country paste it here from variable and the variable should be of type string and so after that i will just go to response and test and test my api call here so i will write india and click on test 
so we have gotten our success response now i will just add our json path will name state name and click on add call now as you can see we have added our get countries action on page load so now i will go to my drop down and here in the action flow editor i will select api call i will select the group master api group the api call should be get states it should be get states response should be the variable name and now we have to set our variable country so here i will select the widget state and it will be our state drop down now after that we need to update our page state so first we need to create a page state here which will be state names or state name of type string list and confirm so i will go back to my action flow here i will write update page state and then i will select state name set value here i will select action output get states response json body predefined path and state name now after clicking confirm we will add the false action here also show snack bar something went wrong and error so we have added our api call now in our select city drop down in our options i will select the page state state name and click on confirm so we have set the options in our state drop down now i will go to my test mode click on instant reload so here in our test session now when i select our country suppose i select here afghanistan and then i will go to my select state so all the states of afghanistan is visible here now if i change and select australia and now as we can see we have the australian capitals only same with our bangladesh on selecting we have the bangladesh states here so that's how we use dynamic drop downs in our flutter flow and we created action so that our second drop down is dependent on the first one so in this video we learned how to create dynamic drop downs in our flutter flow to define the options we created two apis in our zeno so that we could populate our drop down values also we added the action on one drop down so that our second drop downs values should be dependent on the first one thank you for choosing know how academy as your it source we are always there to help you navigate to the tech world. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. So stay curious and keep learning.